So, Toaster, I'm noticing another thing on the screen. Mm-hmm. The kerning. It just uh -huh. really accentuates yeah, the, the ass. The, the <laughs> font, yeah, is very, very <laughs> ass forward. <laughs> it, just, it really draws your attention to the word ass in the middle of password with the spacing mm -hmm. and the kerning and so on. It's just, only the second uh, ass looking thing on the screen right now. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> just brush right over that one. Not in the first minute of the video. It gets in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I guess I'm done exploring. I yawned, finding my way into my room. That is such an overly fancy bed that I would, like, be somewhat unsure about how to proceed. It looks I... kind of, like... It looks very high up. Like, you would have to, like, sit backwards and slide into the bed. You don't really just lay down onto it. Yeah, it's, it's like, very it's palatial. high... <laughs> It looks really wide. I feel like I need to pick up and chuck like 12 pillows before I have space to lay down. <laughs> As I flopped on my bed, I patted my stomach, sighing out, having eaten something to tide me over until dinner. Your stomach will remember that. The nap on the bus was a couple hours, but even then, I didn't sleep well last night. Maybe it was... The idea of being far from home for a whole month that made me uneasy? Maybe it was something else messing with me. Something had been bugging me ever since I, we pulled up. Something that was prodding me in the back of my mind as if I'd forgotten something really important. I must have fallen asleep at some point. Every now and again I'd get dreams, but nothing really all that abnormal. Sure, they were sometimes random, but whose dreams weren't sometimes. I awoke to the sound of something echoing around the house. Oh? The dinner bell? As I got up from my bed, I wondered how long I'd actually been asleep for. Dave, dinner's ready. Roswell must have been just down the hall, or maybe outside my door. It was hard to tell, given how open this place was. Sound seemed to carry easy enough. It'll be, it'll be very inconvenient for anyone trying to do the murders later. Which was probably why I heard the dinner bell as well. For a moment I thought it was something like an old-fashioned fire alarm. Oh no. <laughs> how loud is it? Oh no. <laughs> I feel like this is a month of me not getting to sleep if I was here. If, if, I mean, a if, dinner bell if, usually is like, like, it, I mean, it can literally be a bell, like a boxing ring bell, but oftentimes it's more like a doorbell. Like, it is like a bing bong. Just worried about, like, how sound carries. I'm like, I'm not, one person <laughs> gets up to use the restroom and the creaky ass stairs just ruin it for everyone. Yeah. I mean, it seems like the whole house would be creaking and, and there would be just lots of noise in general. But, like, I'm trying to think dumb waiters as well. I can't remember if there was one, if they mentioned one in the kitchen or not. But, like, those are pretty loud, too, in estates like this. So you just kind of get used to the noise. Like, it's just kind of always making sound. Just thinking about the poor woman in uh, Knives Out who yeah. <laughs> sleeps directly under the stairs and is just miserable all night. As I stepped out from my room, I caught a glimpse of Roswell heading down the stairs taking them two at a time before almost slipping and falling over as he bounded down the last one a little too eagerly. As I stepped into the dining room, I was greeted with a spread of food far too impressive and grandiose for just the seven of us. Dave! Welcome! Uh, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Wait, you made all this? He helped. Orlando laughed, waving Sal off, although it was clear that he'd been busted. My attention went back to the table, looking over what food was there. Various smells assaulted me and made my mouth water sooner than I was able to identify what each thing was by sight alone. With all the food at one end of the table, the others seemed to be piling up their plates and taking it to the other end of the table. 
much like the others, I took a plate and grabbed a little bit of everything before deciding where I wanted to sit. It felt like sitting in the high school cafeteria, except more intimate. And much like how I was trying to figure out where to sit, the others were eyeing me, almost expectantly. Much like how? Mm, another seven choice list. <laughs> <laughs> it's six, not seven Eves. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I think this is a genuine choice, though. Yeah, I, I don't think, think this is gonna, an important one. I don't think you're going to tour through the group in a moment like this. Yeah. I, uh, you know my vote. You want Sal? I want the hot croc. Find out what his deal is. I think I heard... Didn't we hear that Dean's route's gonna get rewritten or something? Is that the one? Yeah, yeah, Dean's route is the one that's getting rewritten. Which is interesting because so far he seems to be the main character? The most like the cl very clearly like the, signposted. The, two, the most highlighted characters are Dean, Tyson, and Roswell so far. Yes. Haas but is Roswell also here. Seem... Remember Haas? All of the scenes with Haas? Haas? Memorable he's character hardly Haas. a character. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally shared a scene with someone almost every single time he's shown up. Yeah, no, he's just there. I was like, we know that he wants to be an actor. Or no, no, I think I guess I guess he was a he was an actor. He's like a child actor that is just he seems to just take for granted that he has a whole future of being rich and famous. So he's like, oh yes, uh, when I want when I get my mansion, I'm expecting something more modern. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want some floating brutalism. <laughs> I think One of those uh, houses him, looks like I, a series of squares stacked on each other. I'm not sure if he was a child actor or if he just was like a promising, you know, like local community theater kid or something. Like I, I, I wasn't 100% sure what they were going for with There's, that, but I yeah. do get the Im impression that he's like very motivated and aspirational. He's like one of those kids. I went to high school with one of these guys. There's a theater kid I did plays with who ended up like, he was so into theater and so good at what he did and he made short films and stuff that like eventually the school was like, he can just be the director. Like it won't be the theater teacher anymore. Like he can just direct. And now he like makes documentaries for a living. Like there are Neat. just people, there are people like that who just happen to know what they want to do really early. And then they are like, yeah, when I do this, like, I'm gonna have a, a modern palace, and you're like, oh, that's presumptuous, but then they just fucking do it, and you're like, oh, okay, I guess, never mind, I guess you were right, like, you were yeah. gonna have a modern palace. <laughs> I did, I didn't know one guy in high school and middle school that, like, was just, he's very extra all the time, and he was very clearly going towards acting and so on. I don't know how things turned out, I think I looked him up, like, two years ago, and I saw, like, an acting podcast or something that he hosts or something, I mm -hmm. didn't see any further about, like, I, don't, I have no idea if he got gigs or what his deal is, but like, there, are, there are the people that make a whole, like, very early project of, of going there, but they, they, it, it sounded like they implied that he, or even just said that he was, like, a, because they're like, oh, I heard a, a child actor was moving in or something like that, like, when he came to town, like, a year ago. No. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious about a few of the characters. I also wonder who, do, how who Dean are you reacts most if you interested just avoid in? him. Yeah, who uh, are you most interested in right now? I'm not asking, like, who you think is the hottest or who's your, like, favorite. I mean, like, narrative-wise, who do you think would be the most interesting pick? Who do you think is most intriguing? I mean, Tyson's got some kind of deal. Yeah. So Tyson, like Tyson's like the powder keg of this group, and something's going on there. We don't know a lot about about Sal or Roswell or Orlando to latch on to. I'm somewhat curious about Haas's deal, even though that we have like the least to go on there potentially. Yeah. So in in this regard, the the characters that I'm thinking of, like I'm really interested in Sal because I like him, and I like that he hasn't been clearly forefronted as a character yet like i always wonder when you're playing these like husband simulators where it's like every single character is sold to you on the premise or promise of something interesting about them right or like their relationship to the plot or their relationship to your character so when a game plays its cards close to its chest this is not always the case but it, it is oftentimes very intriguing to see how these like weirder oddball characters end up 
factoring into a narrative because they aren't signposted to be like, I am the protagonist's boyfriend. He will go through the hero's journey. We will have a falling <laughs> out and then get back together. You know, like it's and, and so that definitely drags draws me towards characters like Roswell, who is you know, obviously kind of a leader character so far in that he's had the most dialogue out of anyone else. But also, he isn't set up to be like literally your boyfriend. He's just kind of like your nice childhood friend. And then there's uh, there's like Sal, obviously, who I mentioned, who like hasn't really been set up as having much of a relationship with you at all. Why is he in the story? Who can say? Like that's they're like genuinely it's exciting and interesting to me there because I can't see where it's going. Whereas with like with Tyson, for example, and Dean, we already have enough information about them that I understand possibly what their story is setting up. I don't necessarily know where it's going, but like we know Tyson's archetype. We can predict and and see what tools that character has to present from a storytelling perspective. So I'm just I'm so curious what they would do with these other characters. And it kind of it, it, it kind of is a gamble, too, though, because like it could literally just be like that. Those characters are the wrong options and they're boring and uninteresting. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, oh, no, like you did the visual novel you did we the played whole... recently where we made a choice and everyone was like, no, the good content was over there. You, you chose wrong. Yeah. And I'm like, well, then why did you give? Why it? were they presented <laughs> equally? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and don't get me wrong. There's always going to be a quality differential with uh yeah with routes but like even stuff like that even like, with stuff like carl and echo like every echo route is still very much like should be played yes there are, like, and oh, it's like part of a whole routes. yeah definitely so it's just it's just one of those things where it's like how like do we want to gamble or do we not that's what i'm saying <laughs> i'm gonna wear them like a jacket Oh, yay, Sal. As I approached Sal, I hesitated as his gaze on me. As his gaze on me unwavered. I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> no. Stopping shy of the that... <laughs> empty seat beside him, I dipped my gaze down <laughs> rather than meeting his eye directly. I'm thinking uh, just that that phrasing as his gaze at me unwavered. It changes that from an unwavering gaze, like the adjective unwavering, to <laughs> the idea that his gaze was wavering on you and then unwavered. Yes. <laughs> so it went it from being wavering. very shaky. <laughs> Funny. All right. <clears throat> What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, is it fine if I sit here? <sighs> if you have to. <laughs> Off to a good start. As if betraying his comment as something unfriendly, he pulled the chair out for me so I could sit down, pushing it back in with his foot before returning to the food in front of him. Hmm. Wait. As if betraying his comment as something unfriendly. I think the comment itself does that. <laughs> yes. Well, I think I think what it's trying to say is his comment was unfriendly, but he's betraying the action by being friendly and polite yeah. after saying it. I don't think that's usually what the word betraying means in that context. Yeah, betraying I think is that... more like more like revealing, like yeah, giving away. Some of these sentences just kind of like try to accomplish too much without stopping and starting a new sentence. Yeah. And a few of them will go on for three lines with no commas, and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> was he just tired? He seemed more abrasive than normal, but a lot of the time he was just very blunt. I have to sit somewhere, right? And I guess I sort of want to sit here, too. He shrugged, playing with the food on his plate. The others by now had started conversing with themselves in some sense, wondering if I should pick up the slack with Sal. Are you liking the mansion so far? It's good. No follow-up. Just more staring at his food. As I was about to ask him something else, he continued. Bigger than any place I've been to before. I like it, though. With a smile now on his face, Sal skewered some meat that he'd piled onto his plate and began to eat. 
For the most part, there was a mix of things on the table for us to pick from. Roasted vegetables and meats, plus a few sides. Sal had a little bit of everything. Did you just grab a little bit of everything? Was that not the point? I thought we could just really... I thought we could j really just pick what we wanted, sort of like a buffet. No, that makes sense. Maybe I should have grabbed more vegetables then. I mean, did he not just grab what he wanted? Does he not want everything? <laughs> the whole I point of a buffet is you can grab yeah. everything if you want to. <laughs> I guess they're implying he grabbed equal amounts of every, like one scoop of every object. Like that was as, like, as if he felt instructed to or something. Like an assembly line as opposed to a preference. Vegetables? Don't crocodiles normally uh, go for more for meats? Vegetables are good for a balanced diet. You need to eat your vegetables. And then you get dessert. While the others started talk, while the others talked amongst themselves, I ate my food, still half asleep from my nap. This guy has an actual sleeping problem, which is a unifying yeah. thing between almost every visual novel we play. <laughs> it's just sleep disorders. I wonder if what this it says is. about furries. <laughs> they say that hyenas are more closely related to cats than dogs. They're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might they might be technically right, but that's just kind of a it just feels like a stupid statement. I'm like, oh, they're they're related to weasels. How about why don't I ever mention that? Why is everyone talking about weasels instead of cats? Who cares about cats? They're so distant from like each other. I feel like a lot of I feel like weasels just they 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 have little representation. We need more weasel representation. Yeah. <laughs> you can't you can't count hyenas as weasel representation. It can't, it's not it okay. Can't, it can't all be row. Soon enough our meals were done and I felt sated, at least for now. So, dessert. Mhm. Mm Me? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was a look in Sal's eye that made him seem uncertain. His voice lowered to a whisper. Uh, ice. <laughs> ice cream. Do you think they have any? I would assume so. <laughs> I hope so. I've gone and gotten it with Orlando a few times. The brain freeze is not so good, though. It's been a while since I had ice cream. What's your favorite? Flavor? Strawberry. Not category, gelato. <laughs> really? I would have guessed... Actually, I don't know what I would have guessed. It's, uh, the color, mostly. I actually have no sense of smell. <laughs> or taste. I like pink. I nodded slowly, wondering what I was gonna get. It wasn't long before the door of the kitchen swung open, and the butler emerged from it with a small tray of what appeared to be desserts. Dessert is served, gentlemen. He's so small that he has to float. That was not the voice I used for him. <laughs> He's so small he has to float. However, this particular spread was mostly Master Orlando's contribution to the meal. Having tried to make something each of particularly like to ease into your st wait what that the, the second half of that sentence does not make any sense at all <laughs> i completely i read it and then didn't understand what i was saying as i said it hold on however it, this particular spread was mostly master orlando's contribution to the meal having tried to make something each of particularly like to ease into your stay here i guess they're going for uh, like something that each of you would particularly like yeah, that was a little... It's, does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> a little bit. Not sure what they were the saying The rumor there, come though. out about the rumor. I looked, at, I looked across to Orlando, who went bright red and flashed us all a bright smile. The butler wheeled the tray around the table, placing a dessert in front of each of us, ending with me. Oh, thank you. Um... What is it, Master Dave? <clears throat> I don't think I got your name. Oh, I'm no one of import. 
pay it no mind. There we go. Is That's it, the is voice. It, is it Jeeves? <laughs> Pardon? Your name. What about Alfred? The butler eyed me carefully before speaking clearly and plainly. You may call me Benson. It is a pleasure to meet you all. He bowed slightly before gently placing the dessert intended for me on the table. That will be all, gentlemen. I hope you enjoy your dessert and enjoy the rest of your evening. Feel free to leave your plates where they are, and I will collect them later. I looked at the dessert placed in front of me and cooed softly. I looked over to Sal, who already had who already has spoon at the ready to dig into his strawberry ice cream. Guess you got your ice cream, huh? How did he make ice cream? It's wild. You can eat- ice cream is super easy to make, what are you talking about? Is it? How do you make- I'm trying yeah. to think of ice cream. Yeah, no, you basically just need ice, salt, and cream, <laughs> and then you just like put a flavoring with it. and. You can buy an ice cream maker at, at a Walmart for $25. I'm like, it's not I don't, hard to do. I'm realizing I don't know how to make ice cream. <laughs> yeah. It just no, sounds, you just have to basically... It just seems like something yeah. would be involved. Like, not like beer brewing involved, but more than like, ah, oh, I made a pastry real quick for you. Oh, yeah, no, ice cream is pretty quick. Like, you, you really just need, like, a flavor, milk, whipping cream, maybe some sugar, and then you just... You cool it down and stir it up, and that's how you get ice cream. Well, you missed your chance to be impressive. Now I'm not impressed if it ever happens. <laughs> like, oh, that's easy. He said it Oops. was easy. Just did it on Oops. accident. Like, just, oh, I tripped and made some ice cream. Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> but that's actually, so this is funny. This is this is why a lot of people are really shocked when they find out that, like, like right now, I know on Twitter it was making waves that there's, like, macaroni and cheese flavored ice cream, which sounds really gross. But, like, literally all ice cream is, is cold dairy plus an additive. It isn't inherently sweet. Like, you don't need to get sweet ice cream. You can have savory ice cream, because all it is is cold cream. So, like, when you think about all the food that has dairy in it in the world that you eat, like, you can have cheese-flavored ice cream. It's just cold cheese. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> all it really is. Same with stuff like... Uh, Kind of uh, like the versatility really of cream cheese, where it could be used with both savory and sweet things. Yes, yes, very much so. And like, uh, I've had like, I've had lots of really weird ice creams. Uh, I've had lobster flavored ice cream, which is really interesting. Um, you can have uh, garlic flavored ice cream, stuff like that. Uh, it's not. I have had it's garlic not as crazy flavored as ice cream sounds. from the garlic shop. <laughs> it's it's pretty normal. It's it's yeah. it's kind of whatever. It's like, it's a little Holland bit just like, it's kind of just weird vanilla. <laughs> yes, yeah, and uh, ginger flavored ice cream is another pretty good one. And I don't mean like ginger snaps, I mean like literal, like, shredded ginger, pickled ginger flavored. Like, once you, t you can't a even have ginger really schnapps ice cream. Right now. That was a stupid... Uh, <laughs> A lot of people are probably screaming right now, being like, oh, that's probably gross. But like, I promise you, if you were to try it, you'd be like, oh, I instantly understand why this is functional. It's not as weird as it sounds. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you can just go. Sal, oop, oh, hey, why? Sal scooped into it slowly, letting the topping ooze and drip from the spoon back into the bowl. I did. His eyes turned to what was in front of me, curious. What's that? This, uh, it smells like coffee and has a lot of cream, so I think it's tiramisu. <laughs> tiramisu? Oh, I, I think I remember hearing about this. Orlando can't eat it. I've Why? had such mixed experiences with things that are called tiramisu, and I don't know which one's real anymore. <laughs> I I can only think of the actual tiramisu, which is lady fingers and uh, like espresso dipped lady fingers with some slight alcoholic burn off and some some coffee flavored cream. What are it's, lady fingers? It's a kind of pastry. I don't know. 
Uh, I don't know what this. you're talking about. I'm gonna, I, for the audience, I'm showing Keith a picture of what a ladyfinger is. It yeah. is a... It's a type of pastry. It looks you're like gonna that. Get a, you're you gonna a get message. a slideshow as I as I as I click out of the window. Oh, it's just a. They look like popsicle sticks covered in brown sugar. <laughs> yeah. Normally they're connected, so when you have tiramisu, there's like four of them in a row with like a layer of frosting on top, and then like you know like stuff like that. That's how you eat it. They're very soft. They're like a cake. Is the best yeah. way to describe it. Uh. Whenever when I first had things called tiramisu, it was like essentially like this like layered sort of different types of like cream or frosting kind of consistency in like mm -hmm. a cup. Yeah, like visible from the outside. But then I had ones that were like, I, I, then I had things called tiramisu and with no distinction that were like, it, it's like a big slice of cake seemingly. And it's like yeah. soggy and kind of gross <laughs> and unpleasant. Yes. I've had that extremely technically... mixed results from yeah. uh, different sources that call things tiramisu. That is technically what tiramisu is. It's a, it's a pastry based cream and frosting dessert. Uh, but a lot of tiramisu gets very soggy because ladyfingers are generally soaked in espresso and or Kahlua before they're cooked. So they become very wet and they lose a lot of their texture. So it can be a lot like eating pudding. So you can make tiramisu Ugh. in a cup and when you eat it, it just is like pudding. But it's really good. It's one of my favorite desserts. I really like it. Do not. I do not like 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 bread pudding. It's so off putting to me. The weird <laughs> bread, the wet, oh, the wet bread Oh, bread pudding feeling. is like my favorite. I no, love bread pudding. You can have all of it. It's all yours. Thank you. It's oh delicious. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> It's just, bread pudding French toast is like some of the best French toast I've ever had as well. I, just, I, good. I, just, I can't deal with it's not even the, the flavor. It's I just can't deal with looking at it or the consistency <laughs> or any, so the funny. whole thing is just a real bad time. I do not like that. Why can't Orlando eat tiramisu? Is there a yeah, food that's what I'm wondering because he's a dragon. <laughs> he's a dragon. Dragons can't have coffee. Yeah. Like what? What? Why? The coffee, I think. You'd have to ask him. Because we established that he doesn't eat, drink coffee, and apparently he really doesn't drink coffee. Apparently. Did you want to try any? No, thank you. I'm fine with my ice cream. There was a moment's pause before Sal sighed out and slid his bowl closer to me. Here, you can try some if you want. Dessert swap romance. Are you sure? He shrugged, but I got the impression that he was just doing it to be polite. Thankfully, strawberries weren't my favorite, so I, I was less eager to just jump right in. How dare you? Strawberries are immaculate. Uh, nah, I, I think I'll pass. Thank you, though. This has this ritual feeling to it, like you're supposed to offer the stuff to each other, but both, but you're supposed to say no, and it's the type of thing that I would miss. Be <laughs> stuff like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do not, do not ever politely offer me something I'm supposed to decline. <laughs> there was the faintest showing of a relieved smile on his face as he drew his bowl back and resumed enjoying his dessert. For me, my tiramisu was creamy and chocolatey, but with those familiar coffee tones that hit my nose whenever I moved my spoon to the cream. The scent of coffee always made me nostalgic. Maybe because of how often I smelled it around my family home, and how I've been consuming some variation of coffee every second of this playthrough so far. <laughs> it was a safe place, or at least something that, that I associated with safety. Before I knew it, I'd finished, sighing out, content, if a little sleepy, despite there being coffee involved. <laughs> no, we're not surprised at this point, man. We can't be. <laughs> With everyone well fed, we filed out to the foyer, ready to turn in for the night. Well, I'm beat. It's time to turn in. Haven't eaten that well in a long time. It was good. Very good. Better than what I've been eating. 
He just slept until dinner, which is followed immediately by sleeping after having coffee again before sleeping again in the same day again. Oh my god, our protagonist. Really? <laughs> that was restaurant quality, wasn't it? I'd say better. That perfect mix of restaurant quality and homely charm. I could feel Orlando tense up next to me. He took pride in his cooking, so I wasn't sure if he was taking this as a challenge or an overall comment on his capacity as a cook. So, everyone turning in? I think so. I'm a Dean on this one. Dean shuffled up to me and put an arm over my shoulder, flashing me a, pr a particular brand of grin. You're with me, are you? Knowing where I'm going? Back off, bear. I blinked, having heard that tone before. It was angry, possessive, and while rarely directed at me, it didn't normally mean anything good. I must have caught Dean off guard as he pulled his arm back and stepped away soon after. I heard Sal say something to Dean, arms folded across his chest while Dean looked sheepishly yet sheepish yet apologetic. But as for Orlando, he'd stepped forward to confront Tyson. You should mind your tone, Wolf. What? You looking to pick a fight over how I talk? I mean, I just want to be clear here. Picking fights over how people talk is generally how fights start when you're being really rude to someone. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't be rude, dude. <laughs> what? Just going at it on your own. If I was talking, I'd hate to have a civil conversation with you. The two stared, snarling at one another, and I looked between them, not sure of how to defuse the situation. Oh no, all the large men are fighting over me. <laughs> As Ty took a step towards Orlando, Sal stepped over from his talk with Dean and grabbed Ty under the arms lifting him just off the ground so he couldn't do anything more. Haas pulled Orlando aside to keep them properly separated. Good start to this friend vacation. <laughs> um, this might not be the best time, but I wanted to pitch something to everyone. Somehow, it was enough to defuse the situation that Roswell seemed to have room to speak freely. So, we're here for a month. I figure why not make a game of it while we're here? What sort of game? A death game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Haas and I found a gaming room on the same floor as the bedrooms, so I was thinking that something that DVDs or video games couldn't quite offer. Something we can do as a group or in teams. Oh, but what did you have in mind? You didn't answer my question. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. Then yeah, this is a bad time to break this <laughs> to the group, bud. <laughs> Attention, please, everyone. I don't have an idea. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> there were grumbles from some of the others before I asked if he had any ideas, and the fire reignited in Roswell's eyes. Yeah. Something I'll need to ask Benson first, but it has the potential to be a lot of fun. I like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like books. Uh, besides, playing only video games for the month seems... I don't know. Is that what you're planning on doing? Like a waste of a mansion? I agree. Not bad to have another option, I suppose. Outside of maybe finding a spot to do some fishing, I don't have any ideas. Sounds good to me. If you need help, just give me a heads up. I'll play every character. Same here. But, uh, for now, I'm gonna go to bed. Makes two of us. Night, everyone. Dean and Haas wandered up the stairs out of sight. Night, Dave. Yeah, sleep well. See you at breakfast? 
Then Roswell and Orlando followed suit. Ty shrugged Sal off, grumbling. He was let go and kicked the ground, annoyed. Tyson didn't really say much else, shooting Sal an unimpressed look before heading upstairs. As for Sal, he nodded once and gave me a small wave before heading upstairs, like all the others before him. I stood there, taking another look around the grand entry, the furnishings, the stairs leading up the first floor. If I were royalty, I'd feel the part in the castle easily. But still, something wasn't quite right. Something foreboding seemed to be lingering just beyond view. Something that was making me feel uneasy in the pit of my stomach. Some kind of, like, genre awareness. <laughs> One thing I, I, I would say here, this is, this is something that, that a lot of games like this do, where they try to ratchet up the tension by being like, for some reason, there was something that I couldn't really describe, a strange feeling that I need to signpost to the audience that we're that I also know that something weird's going on, and you know to feel unwell because I feel unwell. Games could just, you know, make the players feel uneasy by setting up an uneasy atmosphere instead of telling us that the atmosphere is uneasy. Yeah, just a small having the butler critique. act strangely or having them spot something that doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh, which we have done do, because there is the, yeah. the creepy password porthole downstairs in the nightmare yeah. basement, which is enough set up to be like, hang on a minute, what is going on around here? So you want to uh, definitely want to like try to introduce more unnerving elements as you go instead of just being like, you should feel unnerv unnerved about something. I'm like, I know you <laughs> as the player. I was told from the get go, people will die. <laughs> Extra, yeah, exactly. Like, like outside of the text, I was told that. So that's already going to do One more of, for setting up bad feelings than like, but something's wrong. Yeah. One of the things about this, too, that's kind of like funny is that we are, we already pointed out like the this house is already like a non Euclidean space as is presented to the audience. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. There's a ton of weird perspective in shots. I mean, this is clearly like not even actually a house. It looks like there's a bathroom sign on the wall over there. So like you can just have an uncomfortable atmosphere without telling us, hey, we're my, the character is uncomfortable for no reason, because I need the audience to know that we should feel uncomfortable right now. Like, it's yeah, OK. Like, chill. I think feel confident you, in your writing. You don't need to worry. You don't need to signpost it. If people don't get it, they won't get it. That's OK. <laughs> Like you've talked before about how like games like Echo, when they have the use of like the screenshots, the uh, the photos of real spaces and so on, is that it's like meant to imply a lineage of like horror visual novels and that kind of like setup. It's so, like this yeah. game, in this game apparently having the blue subtitles, like it feels like between that and the photos that it's like gesturing at a wider cultural thing that it's already hooking into without having to like call it out. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. I felt the hair on the back of my neck stand up on end, and I spun to see if anyone was there. If I hadn't watched Ty go upstairs on his own, I'd have assumed he was playing another trick on me. Still, I was alone as far as I could see. With moments like that, I often wonder how many of these have hooks that... Like, how much the... the I wonder how much these scenes are changing based on which things we did. Because they interestingly made all of the character interactions on the bus and around the house optional, seemingly, by giving us the option to just not. So I'm like, would they? Would that dialogue be different if we didn't get jump scared by Tyson, for example? Because we just didn't go down there. And would that potentially be important that we don't know anything about that door, for example, or something? Yeah. Still, I was alone as far as I could see. No one's there, right? Silence. Uh... Mr. Benson? More silence. Maybe it was just tiredness. After all, there wasn't anything sinister here, right? We could trust Roswell's capacity to not invite us to a murder mansion for a vacation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't read the itch.io page. C classic mistake. It's like... <laughs> It's like looking up the Yelp reviews of your Airbnb. 
Nothing could have beat the side of my bed by the time I got up to my room. As soon as I laid down and my head hit the pillow, I was out like a light. Day one. Path, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I enjoy weird interface elements that set up structural things where you're just like, hang on a minute, what does that mean? <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> hey, give me a minute. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is the thing that I, I I mentioned to you yesterday when we were off video. Is just like, are we gonna, are we gonna play all thirty days of this month? Like, I noticed the day Maybe. one thing up there on the left corner. Yeah, is, it's uh, how long is this game? Depends on how long the days are, I guess, <laughs> and whether guess or not a character so. gets knocked out for a week or something, or who knows what else could happen. But we're gonna find out. Mm.